Hey Vanguard community, I'll show you today how to register for classes either in the summer term or in the fall term using the Vanguard portal. You can get to the Vanguard portal by visiting asub.edu or you can type in mycampus.asub.edu in the address bar. Once on the Vanguard portal page, this is the landing page, and the login information is in the upper right-hand corner. You'll use your first name, dot last name, and the password that has been associated with your email account to log in. Should you have any login problems, please visit helpdesk at asub.edu or phone them at 501-882-8999. Once inside the portal, You'll reach the landing page. Your home page has information about your billing, your Canvas account, news, your advisor, and other things, but today we're concerned about registration. If you will click on the Show Quick Links, then the Registration tab will pop open um, across the top of the page. We're going to do the online registration. You'll choose your enrollment, which is your major and the term that you would like to enroll in. We're going to use summer. The information below shows the beginning and ending dates of the semester or the term. And then we'll choose register. Classes populate based on your major. You can see that we're already, this student is already enrolled in one course, but we're going to add others. Once you hit the register button, you'll be able to see course search or required courses. It's much easier if you'll actually just do the required courses um, because those are associated with your major. Since we'd already registered for accounting in our major, we need to choose another course for that major. You can tell that the number of hours associated with the course are represented by the number, by the in the last number of the uh, code. So in, what I'm really saying is that the end of this code, this is a three hour accounting class. This is a three hour business class. This is a three hour computer class, three hour economic class, and so on. So in choosing another required course, I look at the schedule that it's offered. And here you can see that this particular class will be on a Tuesday at 6 to 7.20 uh, p.m. and if I click into this course, it will give me additional information about its location, when it starts and when it ends, and what location in the building that it is. Here you can see this is on the BB campus. It's in the Business and Ag uh, building, room 122. And then you can see the meeting days. By choosing this course, I'll click the plus sign, my search will load, and the information is telling me that, whoa, wait, I have a conflict. I can't register for both of these. So I'll close this course, and now I'll choose another class that's in my major. All right, I have now chosen Microsoft Computer Apps. Keep in mind that this course is not actually selected until I go through the entire registration process. I register, and then I have to choose Register again. And one more time here, I'm looking to see that now my class I'm registered for. You notice that this other course is actually a different color. 
if I look at this information. So if I go back and look at my registered courses, you can see here that I have registered for two classes. One of them is an accounting class. It's on Tuesday and Thursday evenings from 6 to 9 p.m. It's on the Little Rock Air Force Base campus. And then you can also see that I've registered for Microsoft Computer Applications, and it is an actual online meeting class because any courses that start with 32 as the section are actually online classes. I would continue the registration process until I have indeed registered for the number of courses that I would like to take uh, in the semester. I'm going to register for one more course and that will be another online class and you can see that I have chosen principles of, of sociology and and now I will register for that class again I will hit the second registration And now I will return to view my courses. Should you get an error such as this, if you'll click, click back one more time, you'll end up back at your home page. Then you can look at the classes that you've registered for. Remember to select the term and your registration information will indeed show and now you can see that you're registered for three classes. Hope this video has been helpful. Thanks a lot.